Fairfax County is uh, commemorating its 275th anniversary, and as part of that anniversary celebration, uh, Lord and Lady Fairfax from London are here to visit and help us with our festivities. We're taking the opportunity to show him some of our Fairfax County treasures. So he is here today at the historic courthouse to see some of the original land uh, documents and see some of the items that um, his ancestors uh, signed and were responsible for. It's really quite an, an honor to have Lord Fairfax join us here today to see some of the archival materials that are held here by the Fairfax County Courts. Well, this is obviously a very, um, very attractive building, old building, beautifully preserved as far as we could see. And you've obviously also got here some very interesting documents. Um, our American grandfather, one of the great things he did in his life, he collected a lot of stuff um, for us, and in particular collected a lot of books uh, to do with the English Civil War and also uh, to do with America. So we have a lot of similar things at home that you have here in the courthouse and in the record. So we've got land grants and we used to have Washington letters and things like that. The Fairfax is the most best known in England uh, because there was someone called Sir Thomas Fairfax who commanded the parliamentary army fighting against the king in the English Civil War in the middle of the 17th century. And he, his he was, his father was alive during the war, so history books know him as Sir Thomas Fairfax. But he, about the time the war ended, his father died, and he subsequently became the third Lord Fairfax. But no one knows him as such. But the point of mentioning that is that the two generations down, the fifth Lord Fairfax married Catherine Culpepper. And the Culpepers were part of a, a royalist, loyalist syndicate, which had been given the northern neck of Virginia by Charles II in exile in 1649. So there's a huge irony because the Fairfax is married into the Culpeper family, and through this, the northern neck of Virginia passed into our family. And the irony is that we were fighting against Charles I and, in fact, defeated him, um, but we subsequently became the beneficiaries of the, of the grant of the northern neck of Virginia, which was granted as a thank you for being loyal. So there's a huge irony there. So it passed into our family by that marriage, and then it's the son of that marriage, uh, the sixth Lord Fairfax, who then, after whom Fairfax County is named, and came to live in America. I lived in DC when I was 21. It wasn't a coincidence I was living there. I, I just got qualified as a lawyer and I came over. And um, I worked for six months in a big Washington law firm, Covington and Burley. And I kind of discovered the county uh, then, and they discovered me. So I've actually had relations with Fairfax County since probably first, 1978. And, you know, from time to time we've had done things together, and I came here in 1992 with my wife for the 250th. It's just so nice to be here and help you celebrate.